It's story time with Nana. Today's story is How Much Is That Guinea Pig in the Window? Written by Joanne Rocklin. Chapter One, The Nicest Teacher in the World. One Monday morning, Mr. Day said, we have $50 from the bake sale. That is enough money for a class pet. Hooray, shouted the class. You're the best teacher in the school, said Nora. In the world, said Amy. Phooey, said Brad. Who wants a smelly old pet? $50 can buy a small TV. $50 can buy lots of baseball cards. $50 can buy a mighty magic robot. Let's vote, said Mr. Day. Who wants a pet? Phooey, said Brad. That morning, Mr. Day's class went to Mrs. Piper's pet palace. Look, the guan is on sale, said Sam. But its cage costs too much, said Lily. Let's get a tarantula, said Brad. Bunnies, cried Sally. Two for $60. Too bad we don't have enough money. We could buy just one bunny, said Eric. But what if the two bunnies are best friends, asked Sally. How about a whole family of mice, asked Karen. Maybe frogs are a better deal, said Peter. We can buy two turtles, said Sam. Let's fill up the classroom with crickets and worms, said Brad. How long is the snake, asked Emma. It is three feet long, said Mrs. Piper. That snake costs twenty dollars a foot, said Emma. Do you have a shorter snake? Sorry, said Mrs. Piper. John was a new student in the class. A dog would be a good friend to have, he said. Are the puppies half price? Sorry, said Mrs. P Piper. What about a tarantula, said Brad. Suddenly there was a terrible scream. Help, let me out of here. A talking parrot, said Mike. What a great pet for our class. We would need to have many bake sales to buy that bird, Sally said. It's hard to choose the best pet, said Tom. It's not hard, said Amy. Here is a riddle for you. I am small and soft and smart. I am the right price. I do not need to go for a walk. My name says pig, but I do not say oink. What pet am I? A guinea pig, said John. Let's vote, said Mr. Day. Guinea pig 15, tarantula 1. Booey, said Brad. Hooray, shouted the rest of the class. We will come back to buy the guinea pig next week, Mr. Day said to Mrs. Piper. But we have enough money to buy it today, said Rob. What about guinea pig food, asked Mr. Day. The children looked in their backpacks. Packs. John found one nickel and two dimes. Lily found five nickels. Emma found a corner. Not enough, said Amy. We can all bring some money from home, said Nora. That's too easy, said Mr. Day. I want you to work for the money. Work? Phooey, said Brad. Who said Mr. Day is the nicest teacher in the world? Chapter 2, Money for Garbage. What kind of work can we do? asked Emma. Here is another riddle, said Mr. Day. This work can get $5. This work can clean up your neighborhood. This work can make money from garbage. How can we make money from garbage, asked Brad. We can do magic tricks. I get it, said Nora. It's not a magic trick. We can find empty bottles and cans. We can take them to the recycling center. The recycling center will pay five cents for each one. I will tell you exactly how many nickels we need to get five dollars, said Rob. One nickel and another nickel makes 10 cents and another nickel makes 15 cents. Wait, said Amy, there are 20 nickels in one dollar and we need five dollars, said Eric. And five times 20 nickels is 100 nickels, said Emma. Rob jumped up from his chair. That means we need to find 100 bottles and cans, shouted the whole class. Hey, this class can do it by next Monday, said Mr. Day. Everybody choose one person to make a team. How about a contest, asked Amy. Yes, said Eric and Rob. The winners could be the first guinea pig monitors, said Nora. John said nothing. Brad said nothing. I guess we could be a team, said John. It will take magic to win, said Brad. 
Each day, the teams brought their empty bottles and cans to school. On Tuesday, Sally and Eric went to the beach. They found five cans, four bottles, two pairs of sunglasses, three sun hats, and one lost dog. Mike and Tom worked hard on Wednesday. They telephoned their two grandfathers, one grandmother, two aunts, and one uncle. They picked up bottles and cans from their families. Sam and Lily worked hard in Lily's mother's ice cream shop. They found 11 bottles and 9 cans. Brad did not work hard. Phooey, he said. Lily's mother owns an ice cream shop. Lily and Sam will win. I'm going to play in the park. Every afternoon, John went to the pet store. He helped Mrs. Piper with the guinea pigs. He liked a frisky brown one the best. On Thursday afternoon, Mr. Day said, We need to check our chart. Let's count the bottles and cans. Put all the bottles here, said Nora, and all the cans there. Then we will count them. It's okay to mix up the bottles and cans, said Amy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a good idea, said Nora. I'll make a tally mark for every one you count. Try it like this, said John. Soon all the bottles and cans were counted. Rob looked happy. This class is more than halfway there. Lily and Sam, 5, 10, 15, 20. Mike and Tom, 5, 10. Karen and Emma, 5, 10, 11. Peter and Rob, 5. Amy and Nora, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Sally and Eric, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brad and John. One, two, three. John was worried. That afternoon, a man bought two guinea pigs. Guinea pigs always sell quickly, said Mrs. Piper. John was afraid that the brown guinea pig would sell quickly, too. Number three. A great idea. Nora went to Amy's house on Friday. Next week, my big sister is having a birthday party, said Amy. There will be pizza and cake and two cans of soda for each guest. And we will get all the empty soda cans, said Nora. Amy and Nora counted the cans of soda. Six grape, six cola, six lemon lime, six strawberry, six root beer, six pineapple peach. I am very, very thirsty, said Amy. Me too, said Nora. Let's each drink one of the sodas now, said Amy. Amy chose root beer. Nora chose lemon lime. Glug, glug, glug. Mmm, delicious, said Amy. Delicious, said Nora. I am still thirsty, said Amy. Me too, said Nora. My grandmother is coming to the party. She doesn't drink soda, said Amy. Let's drink grandmother's sodas. Amy chose strawberry. Nora chose pineapple peach. Glug, glug, gluggly, glug. Burp, went Amy. Burp, went Nora. Burp, the girls were not Nora. thirsty anymore. The girls On Monday, were not our thirsty class anymore. will count the and bottles Monday, and cans again, the bottles said and Amy. Cans again, said Amy. Too bad my sister's, Too bad party, my is sister's party is on Tuesday. I have, Tuesday. I have a great Amy idea, said Nora. I have a great idea, said Nora. Amy and Nora found 36 cups. Amy and Nora they found 36 cups. They poured 18 cans of soda into those cups. They poured 18 cans of soda into those cups. I can't wait, said Amy. Let's empty every single can. Then we will be the top team. Amy found some empty pots. She poured one can of pineapple peach into the small pot and two cans of cola into the medium pot and five cans of grape soda into a big spaghetti pot. Now there were six cans left. Amy poured them into a giant bowl. Amy and Nora tested the soda. Mmm, delicious, said Amy. Delicious, said Nora. I have another great idea. Soon Amy's big sister came home. We have a riddle for you, said Amy. It is the best drink in the world. It is grape, cola, lemon lime, strawberry, root beer, and pineapple peach. It is in the swimming pool. What is it? I give up, said Amy's sister. Soda punch, said Amy. What? shouted her sister. Please taste it, said Nora. Amy's sister tasted the soda punch. Mmm, delicious, she said. It is the best drink in the world. Chapter 4, The Promise On Saturday, John said to Brad, Come to Mrs. Piper's pet palace with me. I want to show you something special. There were only three guinea pigs left. John picked up the brown one. He hugged it. Brad hugged the guinea pig, too. John helped the guinea pig do a trick. Then the guinea pig did a little dance. That guinea pig is smart, said Brad. Brad fed it a carrot stick. 
The guinea pig likes you, said John. I like the guinea pig, said Brad. She was in the pet store, too. She bought six mice, two rabbits, one puppy, one iguana, and one tarantula. Where will you keep all those pets, asked John. I live in a very big house, said the girl, and I want those three guinea pigs, too. Oh, no, said Brad. That brown guinea pig belongs to our class. It does not, said the girl. We are going to buy it on Monday, said John. I am here to buy it today, said the girl. I want the dancing guinea pig. I will not sell the brown guinea pig until Monday, said Mrs. Piper. Let's get to work, shouted Brad. Brad and John ran to the park. They found 11 cans and one bottle in the trash. Then they played ball together. They found nine more cans and three more bottles on Sunday. Then they went to John's house to play. On Monday morning, it was time to count the bottles and cans again. Let's group them by twos, said Mike. Yes, said Rob. Put them in pairs. But we have too many, said Karen. There will be pairs all over the room, even in the hall. No, no, said Sam. Make groups of five. Why don't we count by ten, said Emma. Let's vote, said Brad. Soon all the bottles and cans were counted. We have more than enough, shouted Nora. Hooray, shouted the class. Mr. Day grinned. A guinea pig likes to eat, he said. We will have to keep recycling all year. Easy, shouted Brad. Guinea pig, here we come. That morning, Mr. Day's class went to the recycling center with the bottles and cans. That afternoon, the class went to Mrs. Piper's pet palace. You have enough money for food for one month, said Mrs. Piper. You have enough money for other things, too. I will give you everything for half price because John helped me with the guinea pigs. You are the best pet store owner in the world, said Amy. Just then, the girl came into the store. I want that dancing guinea pig, she said. Sorry, said Mrs. Piper. The guinea pig belongs to Mr. Day's class. Help! Let me out of here, yelled the parrot. Can I buy that parrot, asked the girl. Sold, said Mrs. Piper. Sam turned to John. Will you help Lily and me take care of the guinea pig? Sam asked. Okay, said John, but I want Brad to help too. We're a team. Maybe we were not the best team, said Brad, but we sure are best friends. The End